Welcome to another consumer electronics video. My name is Michael Benarski, and today we will be looking at an app in the Apple App Store. This is one of the many weather apps that I use. It is called Dark Sky. Dark Sky is only available on the iOS App Store, uh, so you can only get it on your iPhone, iPod, or iPad. Not available on Android or Windows Phone or any other smartphones. Uh, it costs $3.99 and uh, it is specialized in rain. It does uh, show some other weather information, but the, it really shines in showing you exactly when it's going to rain. So I have it up on my phone right now, uh, and you can see that right in the middle here, uh, there's a little timeline with a uh, light, medium, and heavy, and then it goes for, the timeline goes for an hour. And then it says next hour, no precipitation, but there is some in the area. So it's really shines in telling you exactly when it's going to rain and as you can see right now it's forecasting for the next hour I'm not going to see a drop of rain. Now it also tells me that there is some cloud cover that it is overcast. Uh, the temperature is in this uh, black dot in the middle here uh, so it's 50 degrees and it actually tells me whether it's rising or uh, lowering and then it also gives me a feels like temperature. Uh, let's go to, because this is a little boring, let's go to a place that actually has some rain. So if you tap on the location at the top, uh, you can choose to go to your location. Uh, there's also a list of some uh, recent places that you viewed. Uh, and then it also gives you uh, an interesting storm in a certain area. So there's a storm going on in Tennessee, and we could actually jump to that area and see what's going on uh, in that storm. So... Uh, it says rain, 52 degrees, and rising feels like 52. And then here you can see on that timeline, it's showing me a little visual of what's going on with the rain. So uh, right now, the rain looks like it's going to be uh, picking up a little bit over the next 10 minutes. And then after that, the uh, amount of rain is going to be lightening up a little bit over the next 40 minutes. Uh, and so it gives you a really nice visual of what the rain is looking like and uh, what is in the forecast for precipitation for the next hour. It's very accurate and precise, which is really what sets this app apart from other weather apps because other weather apps will tell you uh, maybe like an hourly forecast and then a percent chance of rain. This app gets very precise because it only focuses on the next hour and it tells you exactly what's going to happen uh, precipitation wise in the next hour. So I use this app a lot to determine if I want to do something outside. For example, if I want to go run or if I want to wash the car, I'll check this app and I'll see if I'm going to be in the clear for the next hour or if I should hold off for another time. Now, if uh, you notice on the bottom, there are those three little dots uh, that are common on Apple devices uh, telling you that there's multiple pages so if we swipe over we can go to the second page and this shows us a little more information so it shows us for the next 24 hours of uh, the percent chance of rain that we'll be seeing so uh, instead of versus on the first page where it just focuses on the first hour and shows you how heavy or light the rain will be over the next hour the second page gives you a 24 hour view and shows you throughout the day when it's going to rain and when it's not going to rain so I could see between noon and 4 p.m. I can expect some rain also midnight to 4 a.m. and then basically most of the morning I can see some rain there's also a graph with a temperature so I can see how the temperature is going to change throughout the day and then sunrise and sunset times going on to the next page now we have our week forecast so I can see the chance of rain on each day with a little visual next to it showing me uh, what's going to happen on each day so I can see Tuesday is going to be a little windy Wednesday we're going to see some clouds uh, and then Saturday and Sunday up here uh, it's going to be raining now these uh, weird black bars with the temperatures on each end that rep represents the high and low temperature and so obviously when the black bar is further to the to the left that's a lower temperature when the black bar is further to the right that's a higher temperature and then of course the length of the black bar just represents the uh, uh, difference between the high and low temperature that you'll see now you can tap on these days to see even more information so if I tap on today it shows me that 24 hour view of when it's going to rain and then if I tap on other days, it shows me the same thing. Uh, it just gives me an estimation of when it's going to rain. Uh, and then on the days, of course, that it is not forecasting rain, uh, it doesn't really show me any details about the rain because there are, is no rain. Uh, but it does show me details about the clouds, and it does uh, tell me that 
and it's going to be partly cloudy in the afternoon uh, and continuing into the evening. So uh, very uh, detailed uh, forecast in terms of rain and cloud cover. So that is the last page of forecast details. Now if we tap on map, we can also see a radar map of what's going on with the rain. So obviously the lighter areas are heavier rain. For example, the yellow would be a pretty heavy rain and storm. And then the blue areas are uh, maybe just rain without the storms or lighter rain. So this uh, does allow you to see an hour in advance. So it, it starts out showing you what's going on right now. So it says 12.07, which is the time right now. Uh, and I can view the past radar by dragging this timeline at the bottom. I can view what, what was going on in the past and how the storm is moving. But I, I could also go one hour into the, the future to see where the storm is going to be. Now there is a play button, which will play it from the beginning, so I can see exactly how it's going, and then I can also use the now button to jump to the current uh, view of the map. Now if I tap on temperature up here, this actually shows me uh, how the temperature will fluctuate throughout the day, and I can view a few days before and also a few days after uh, two days. So it starts out showing me the current temperature view, and then I can similarly to the uh, precipitation map, I can drag this timeline and see how the temperature is going to fluctuate over the week and also each hour of the day. And then again, I can use the play button to play that real smoothly. And the temperatures correspond to the key given to you on the lower right of the screen. Another cool feature of this app is the ability to get notifications of precipitation. So if I click the notify button, uh, it says it'll send me alerts shortly before rain or snow starts at my location. So right now I have the notifications turned off, but I can turn them on to uh, be told when heavy rain starts, moderate rain starts, or even when just light rain starts. And then also any rain. So anytime that there's maybe a little drizzle or too heavy rain, I'll get a notification on my device telling me that it's about to start or that it is starting. Like you see right now, uh, it's telling me that light rain is starting in my area. Now, uh, personally, I leave these off because they do use location services. Um, the location services will be on all the time when you have these notifications turned on, and I have found that it drains my battery slightly. So in order to maximize my battery life, I actually do not use this feature of the application, but it may be for some people worth the uh, extra battery life that it uses. So that is all that you will find in the Dark Sky application. Uh, personally, I would highly recommend it for the price. It's $3.99, so it's not incredibly expensive, uh, and it is really nice. It's really different from other weather apps in that, like I said before, it really specializes in giving you very precise and accurate information and forecasting about precipitation over the next hour. Uh, no other weather app really does that. Most weather apps just give you a percent chance of rain over several hours of the day. But this really just focuses on telling you exactly when that rain is going to come, which is really useful uh, if you go outside a lot and if you schedule events for the outdoors or want to figure out you know, if it's worth going out to wash your car or go for a run, etc. Uh, this app is would be really useful for you. Also for getting notifications of when it's going to rain. Rain. This app is not necessarily the best, though, for you know long-term forecasting. Other apps like the Weather Channel, uh, Yahoo Weather, or even the standard weather app that comes on here may be a little better for that because it does give you a little more information in terms of the forecast, whereas this tends to focus on rain and cloud cover. So be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it or learned anything from it. Also be sure to share the video with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, or uh, just any way that you share things nowadays, just do it and uh, spread the knowledge of weather applications and keep your friends from getting caught in storms. That's the least you can do for them, right? Well, thanks guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and check out some of the other videos on my channel.